you're finding those answers. And you also need to make sure you give me those answers in exact form. So if you remember our conversion, here is rectangular form. R comma theta. We want to write this in, I'm sorry, that's polar form. We want to write this in rectangular form. Correct? So to go ahead and do that, all we're simply going to do is we know that x equals r cosine of theta, y equals r sine of theta. So x equals 3 cosine of 2 pi over 3, y equals 3 times sine of 2 pi over 3. Well, how do you evaluate these? Well, again, going back to our unit circle. Here's pi over 3. What is that coordinate point? 1 half comma um, square root of 3 over 2. But we're not at pi over 3. We're at 2 pi over 3. So where is 2 pi over 3? Well, <laughs> 2 pi over 3 is right here. It's the exact same point, because that's pi over 3. The reference angles are exactly the same. But it's over here, so therefore it's the exact same point, but now it has the cosine is negative. Follow? So therefore, x equals 3. Cosine is negative 1 half. y equals 3. The sine is still square root of 3 over 2. So your coordinate point is negative 3 halves, comma, 3 square root of 3 over 2. No decimals. See how easy and nice that was? No decimals. Now, again, if you want to plug them in your calculator and make sure that's the same values, then do that, right? I mean, that makes